Hello, and welcome to InSource Solutions Productions. Today, I'm going to be talking about an exciting new feature of InTouch called InTouch Web. So right now you're looking at the desktop of my application running System Platform 2017 Update 1. Update 1 was when we introduced the InTouch Web application. It's very, very simple to enable and very simple to use. Once enabled, it can be consumed from any HTML5 browser. So let's look at how to enable it. So with a modern application open or a managed application where you have your Orchestra Graphic Toolbox, we have to enable the web client root folder by right clicking on it and selecting set web client root folder. This is what tells InTouch Web how it's going to be able to browse which graphics you can see from within the web interface. Graphics are done from within the Orchestra Graphic Toolbox. So in this case, I'm using the Reactor Demo, and I've built a new Reactor Display that you see here. So we'll double click on that to launch it, and I've already added a simple animation just tied to an InTouch tag that's just going to fill. And let's also add a numerical value display next to it. In touch React level. Go ahead and save it and close it. And because this is embedded inside of my HMI application, I'm going to go ahead and close In Touch Window Maker. Check it back in. Then from within the IDE, I'm going to redeploy my In Touch View app. Now it's important to understand that In Touch Web uses iData to get its data from within In Touch or application server. So if it's in touch, the in touch application needs to actually be running for the data to be populated in the web browser. So when this finishes deploying, I'll show you how to access the web browser. Okay, so we finished deploying the object. Now we've got to remember to start in touch. So I'll go launch window viewer. And for now I can just minimize this. I'll launch my browser and navigate to the machine name slash InTouch Web. Now, this is a fully secured environment, but I'm logged in to the image, so it passes my credentials as to who I'm log logged in as. And it should be noted that this is a read-only application, so I can't write back values anyways. So navigation is just like what you see in the Orchestra Graphic Toolbox. I should have put some more significant values in my display digit there, but you can see that the, the animation fill is working. I've got a configuration error in my value that I'm looking at. I just need to add some more uh, dec uh, digits to it. But at any rate, you can see how easy and quickly it is to get this up and going with zero configuration other than right-click and checkbox to enable a web route. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.